In February, the BBC starts a new television service, BBC Wales. And it's been a hundred years of the BBC in Wales. We'll be looking back and we'll be looking forward. Now, we're in Cardiff to mark a rather special birthday because a hundred years ago this week, the BBC started broadcasting here in Wales. Uh, and in a country with very few national institutions until relatively recently, BBC Wales has been a major presence promoting a sense of Welsh identity, putting Welsh culture and sport on the map, certainly, uh, with programmes in the two official languages of Wales, Welsh and English. All of this started, it's a great building to be in today, but all of this started uh, back in 1923 with a few radio programmes. The big change happened when television came along. In February, the BBC starts a new television service, BBC Wales. The BBC has been a giant presence in Wales for decades, described as a cultural conveyor belt by one of its leaders. And by the 1960s, its gleaming new headquarters on the outskirts of Cardiff produced many hours of news, drama, education, music and sports programmes every week in two languages with some notable achievements. If the BBC hadn't commissioned Under Milk Wood in 1954, Dylan Thomas would never have written it and we wouldn't have it. BBC Cymru Wales, as it's now known, with a new home for the 21st century, has been there to mark some of the biggest events of the past century in Wales, some uplifting, some utterly tragic. The disaster at Aberfan in 1966, when a school was destroyed by a mountain of coal waste, claiming the lives of 116 children and 28 adults, was a searing moment for all of Wales, with the world looking on in sympathy. The Prince of Wales tonight sent this message to the people of Aberfan. I send my deepest and heartfelt sympathy to all those who are bereaved and to those who are suffering. A few years later, the prince was being invested at Carnarvon Castle in a grand ceremony that wasn't without political controversy. It was the BBC's biggest outside broadcast since the coronation, and this one was in colour. Mayach an echiad, wedivan chofforth, an duis. But it's a fair bet that the BBC's biggest connection with the people of Wales over the years has been in sport, especially rugby. And who can forget the greatest try of all time with the greatest commentary by Welshman Cliff Morgan. This is Gareth Edwards, a dramatic start! Over the years, the BBC's longest-running soap, Pobola Cum, has been a staple of the BBC's Welsh language supply to S4C. In uh, and its annual coverage of the National Eisteddfod is another major production effort on TV, radio and online. Not to mention other high-quality entertainment in both languages enjoyed by audiences worldwide. Someone tell me what the hell is going on here! At a time of huge competition in the creative sector, we are still attracting around about 92% of the people of Wales to the BBC every week. But our role in that is to provide unique, distinctive and relevant content for the people of Wales, about Wales, in both English and Welsh. These days, with a law-making Senedd in Cardiff Bay, it is a very different Wales and a rather different BBC Wales to that of 25 years ago. Who could have predicted these scenes and that result? 0.3% nationwide in Wales of a victory for the Yes campaign, everything turning on Carmarthenshire. <laughs> what did they say? I think somebody once said, nothing has changed. Uh, I wish that were true. But I have to say, on a personal note, it's great to be in this modern broadcast centre in the heart of the Welsh capital, bringing you the news about Wales, the UK and the world. It's, uh, it's come on a long way in the last uh, century.